I'm Rachel Smith, a collections archivist here at the Alabama Department of Archives and History. Today, I'm really excited to share with you our first state comptroller report because it gives us a glimpse into our early leaders building a foundation to run our state government. The state comptroller is the official who's responsible for the financial accounting. And so this report is some of that early accounting work being done to create our first state budget. It's written in Huntsville on December 14th, 1819. Huntsville was the seat of government at that time. And that is the day that we became a state. And when we think of that day, we normally picture them signing the state constitution and celebrating our statehood. But actually that work had already been done and they were waiting to hear back from Washington DC on if we had been accepted into the nation. And so as they are waiting to hear back, they're getting their accounts in order so that they could start the work of running the state. When you create a new institution or business, one of the first things you need to know is your finances. How much do we have in the account? So this report is the first comptroller, Samuel Pickens, answering that question. He is sending it to the governor, William W. Bibb, so that they would know how much money they had. The report starts with Pickens saying, quote, in compliance with your request of this morning to lay before you such information as I possessed relative to the amount of money which may be necessary to borrow for the uses of the state. First, we have the amount of money now in the treasury, which was $22,411.54.3. That is not a small amount today, but was especially a lot of money at that time. But they hadn't yet paid any of their employees or their expenses. So then the report continues with those lists of expenditures. First, we have the amount of the wages and mileage for the members of the Senate and House of Representatives, $24,900. Wages of the secretary and clerks of both houses, $1,200. Wages of doorkeepers, $400. Stationary house rent and pay of public printers, $1,500. And the first quarter of the annual salaries of the officers of the state, $4,331. This all totals to $32,331, which we can see is more than they currently had in the treasury. So they needed to procure $9,920 to meet their financial obligations at that time. So this report is allowing them to take stock of their accounts. And while they currently were in the red, the governor now knew how much they needed to start borrowing so they could get moving forward on running the state. It's pretty amazing that this report is only one page, but that is pretty indicative of how small government was at that time. They were just getting started and it was mostly just employees. We in our collections actually have comptroller reports through the current day. And as you can imagine, they're much longer and more complicated now because state government has greatly expanded over the past 200 years. For comparison, the 2019 comprehensive annual financial report is 346 pages. So this one page report shows us some of our humble beginnings and the early challenges of running our state government.